Have you ever had a really long Excel spreadsheet and wondered, is there a way that I can keep the row at the top or maybe three or four rows at the top um, so that I don't lose track of what I'm looking at or maybe the columns on the left I need to keep in place? Have you ever wondered if you could do that? The great news is you can, and it's called freeze panes in Microsoft Excel. I'll teach you all about Microsoft Excel freeze panes today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I'll give you a quick run through of how to use Microsoft Excel's freeze panes. And so what that means is kind of what I said in the introduction, if you want to freeze the top row or multiple rows, or if you want to freeze some columns on the left, you can do that. You can even do both, freeze some of the columns on the left and some of the rows at the top all at the same time. So I will show you how to do that today. Here's our example spreadsheet and you can see there are rows and rows and rows and it goes forever. And when I scroll, you can see it just has my data here and it no longer has those top rows that tell me what is the spreadsheet, what do these columns mean. So I would like to keep everything above three, three and above, I would like to keep frozen. And how I do that is freeze panes. This is located in your view menu. So you're going to go up here to the top to view and then you can see it's in the middle for me but it might be kind of off to the right if you have a smaller screen but you're looking for this freeze panes and it looks like a little snowflake with a uh, table. So we click on that and here are some options that they give you. You could freeze panes which means that Wherever your cursor is, it will freeze everything above and everything to the left of your cursor. So right now that would be, you can see B9 is where I currently have it highlighted and that's not quite right for me. So in this case, I could choose freeze top row, which doesn't quite get what I want either. Um, or I could freeze the first column, which again, doesn't quite get what I want. So I need to replace where my cursor is. So I'm going to go away from the freeze panes and I'm going to choose, I just want the top three rows to freeze. So I'm going to go below them. So remember your freeze panes always chooses everything above what you have highlighted or selected and everything to the left. In this case, there is nothing to the left, so it won't freeze anything there, but it will freeze everything above this cell, which is now A4. So I'm gonna do freeze panes and I'm gonna choose this one here. And now you can see a slight line appears. And when I scroll, those top three rows stay put. Are you learning something new from this video and you want to see more? If so, go ahead and click the subscribe button that's underneath the video. Once you do, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on that, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Let's do a different scenario. Let's say, okay, I wanna turn this off. This isn't quite what I wanted. I still need, if I scroll over to the right, I'm gonna add some more columns. If I scroll to the right, I need to still be able to see the start and end dates. That's true. Let's unfreeze our panes, same place and you can see the line goes away. In this case, I want everything to the left of what I have selected to freeze. So let's go over to the right of these two columns. So again, everything above will freeze and everything to the left will freeze. So that will keep my start date, end date, and those top three rows again. So we'll go freeze panes, freeze, and now you can see if I scroll to the right, and you can see I don't have a whole lot of data there, but if I did, it would keep everything to the left that I wanted. And then still, if I scroll down, it will keep everything at the top as I want. And even if I am in the middle of the spreadsheet and I move to the right, it will do the same thing. So it'll just show me that portion with the pieces frozen that I want. So let's say I had a scenario where I really didn't need all these different things frozen. I just need that line that says detailed log to be frozen. That's where I could use this shortcut that says freeze the top pro. And that would keep my title at the top and then everything else would scroll. That doesn't really serve our purpose here, but it could in something that you have. If you don't have a title and your headers are at the top, that would be a great shortcut for you. 
And again, I'm going to unfreeze the panes so that you can then see our third option is freezing the first column. So that's the column on the left, that's column A. We can freeze that first column. And let's go ahead and do that. And again, for this spreadsheet, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but if you had something really important in the first column that you needed to stay there all the time, um, and there's a lot of spreadsheets that have that, then that would be a good option for you as well. Let's try now freezing the top row while the first column is frozen. And you can see that shortcut does not do that. If I needed both the first column and the top row frozen, I would put my cursor here. That would freeze the top row, that would freeze the left column because it's going to do everything to the left of where I have selected and everything above. So you can see if you're going to use the shortcuts, you can only use the top row or only use the first column. Let me unfreeze the panes and that way we can freeze them again and you'll see that does the top row and the far left column. And we'll move this over so that you can kind of see what that looks like. So again, if you're going to use the shortcuts, you really can only use one or the other. I would recommend just picking exactly what you want frozen and then remember, go to the right of it and underneath it and select that cell there. And that's what will freeze. To get started with freezing panes in Excel, I would choose a spreadsheet that's not as important or do a practice one, maybe export some data into an Excel spreadsheet and just kind of play around with it. And that way you don't feel like you're saving something on a really important spreadsheet for work. And if you still feel like you need some help with this or any other tech challenges, you can always schedule a tech stress breakthrough call with me. And you can do that on my website, which is gatewayproductivity.com. That link is also in the description down below the video. If you go directly to the website, just click on the Let's Talk button. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.